Hi everyone, I'm Bob McDonald, and I'm an official worker for the U.S. government. My job is to take surveys on schools around the country, and recently I visited Lincoln Elementary School. There I took a survey of the students in Mrs. Wright's class, and the survey was over which music class each of the students takes. According to the survey, among the 25 students in Mrs. Wright's class, 8 are in band, 9 are in choir, and 3 are in both band and choir. After the survey was finished, the Department of Education assigned us with the task of finding out how many students in Mrs. Wright's class are in neither band nor choir. In order to solve this problem, we will use a Venn diagram to represent the situation. Venn diagrams are very useful tools to represent relationships among groups of objects, especially groups with shared members. To represent this situation, first we can draw a rectangle to represent all of the students in Mrs. Wright's class. Then we can draw a circle to represent all of the students in the band and a circle to represent all of the students in the choir. Since the two groups have shared members, the two circles inter intersect. The two circles break the rectangle into many regions. We will, color the, we will shade the different regions into different colors. Red, blue, purple, and green. The red part will represent all the students in the school band, but not in the choir. The blue will represent all the students in the choir, but not the band. Choir. Band. Next, the purple will represent all the students in both band and choir. Finally, we will use the green to represent all the students in neither band nor choir, which is the section we need to solve for. Now let's use the diagram we've just draw, drawn and the given information. So first the question tells us that there are 25 students in Mrs. Wright's class. That will be everything inside the rectangle. The green section, the red section, the purple section, and the blue section all combined. Next the question tells us that eight are in the school band. So this circle right here, the red section and the purple section, represents all the students in the school band. However, the question doesn't tell us how many students are in the red section, but the question does say that three are in both the band and the choir, which is the purple section. So we know that the purple section must be three. And since we know that this whole circle is eight, then to find the red section, all we must do is do eight minus three, which is equal to five. Now let's go on to the students who are in choir. The question tells us that nine are in the school choir, which is this circle right here, the blue and the purple section. Since we already know that there's three in the purple section, we just have to do nine minus three to find how many students in the choir, which is six. Finally, we just need to solve for the green section. And since we know how many students are in the whole rectangle, 25, And we know how many students are in the red section, the purple section, and the blue section. To find the green section, all we have to do is take 25 and subtract all the inner circles. Which is 25 minus 5 minus 3 minus 6, which is equal to 11. 
The question asks us how many students in Mrs. Rice's class are neither band nor choir? The answer is 11. Let's recap. First, draw a Venn diagram to represent the situation. Use circles to represent different groups of objects and use a rectangle to represent all objects. Next, use the given information to solve the problem. 